Who was the most creative problem solver in your unit? Specialist Garcia could fix anything with whatever random materials were lying around, but his masterpiece came when our forward operating base lost all refrigeration during a 110 degree heat wave, and Garcia somehow built a working air conditioning system using spare helicopter parts, MRE heaters, and a broken washing machine, which kept our entire mess hall cool for three months until a visiting general demanded to know why we had the only comfortable dining facility in Afghanistan. It started during our deployment to Helmand Province, when Garcia joined our unit as a supply specialist. This guy had grown up in Detroit where his family couldn't afford to replace broken appliances. So Garcia had learned to fix everything using whatever materials he could find in junkyards and dumpsters. Garcia's reputation began when our coffee maker broke and he rebuilt it using parts from a broken radio, wire from a damaged Humvee, and components from a discarded laptop. The Frankenstein coffee machine looked ridiculous but produced better coffee than the original equipment. The creative solutions escalated when Garcia fixed our internet by building a signal booster using aluminum foil from MRE packages, coat hangers, and a broken satellite dish. He improved our Wi-Fi speed by 300% using what looked like a science fair project made from trash. Garcia's most ambitious project began when our base's refrigeration system failed during the hottest part of summer. The dining facility reached 120 degrees, making it impossible to store food safely or eat without heat exhaustion. Soldiers were literally passing out while trying to eat lunch. Command said it would take six weeks for replacement parts because our base wasn't considered high priority. Meanwhile, soldiers were getting sick from heat and spoiled food, and morale was hitting rock bottom. Garcia announced he could build air conditioning using spare parts from around the base. He collected broken helicopter cooling fans, MRE heating elements, copper tubing from a damaged generator, and a drum from a washing machine destroyed by mortar fire. Garcia spent three days assembling what looked like the world's most dangerous science experiment. His contraption involved helicopter fans blowing air over copper coils, cooled by a reverse-engineered heating system that somehow created cold instead of heat. The washing machine drum served as a water reservoir, with circulation using IV tubes from medical supplies and a pump from a broken fuel truck. The entire setup was held together with duct tape, zip ties, and pure determination. When Garcia powered up his creation, nobody expected it to work. The machine made alarming grinding noises and looked like it might explode. But within an hour, the dining hall temperature had dropped 20 degrees, and Garcia was grinning like he'd just invented electricity. For three months, Garcia's system kept our mess hall at 75 degrees while the rest of the base sweltered. Soldiers from other units visited just to experience air conditioning, and our dining facility became the most popular hangout spot. The situation became awkward when General Morrison made a surprise inspection and couldn't understand why our remote outpost had the most comfortable dining facility in Afghanistan. He kept asking about our advanced climate control systems. The truth came out when Morrison demanded to see the equipment, and Garcia led him to what looked like a post-apocalyptic sculpture held together with determination. Morrison stared for five minutes before asking if it was safe. Sir, it's been running three months without killing anyone, Garcia replied. That's my definition of safe. Morrison started laughing and said it was the most creative engineering he'd seen in 30 years. Sometimes the best solutions come from having no money and too much imagination, Garcia told the engineers who studied his design.